What's up, Water Signs? I am here with a spiritual reading for you guys. This is for Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and possibly even Jupiter. You guys make sure that you find out um, what your birth chart is, your natal chart. Make sure you go to Google and Google that. I strongly suggest um, that you watch readings and all of those placements because it gives you a broader, um, clearer uh, insight into what's going on with your life. You get the the um, the right messages, guidance, and clarity. Okay. So you guys, um, if you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. The pricings for my readings, all of that is down below. We're gonna get right into it. Okay. So let's start with the messages. No, let's let's start here. Okay. Oops, something popped up. Alright, stay focused, water sign. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep your eye on your goals. Do not let anything steer you off your track. If you fall off a little bit, bit get right on back. <laughs> I'm corny. That wasn't on purpose. Stay focused, water sign. Stay focused. You guys know what you're working on. You guys know what you're manifesting. You guys know. So do not let anything. If times that you do feel like a little off, just get right back on. You know what I'm saying? You fall off, you get right back on. Dress yourself off and try again. You know you know you You just gotta get right back on track. You fall off, you don't have to start from the beginning. You start right where you left off, okay? Water sign. What are these spiritual messages? Spiritual messages from my water signs. Spiritual messages from my water signs. Okay, thank you so much. Open your heart. Open your heart to love. Retreat into nature. And then the original message was stay focused. At the bottom of the deck, you guys are trusting. You guys need They're really calling you to trust you guys. Because I feel like it's going to be very easy right now. What's going on in so many planets that's in retrograde. We just went into... Um, mercury retrograde so it's going to be very easy it's going to be a lot of overwhelming emotions going on you guys are going to have to do as best as you can to really ground yourself and stay focused okay because it's going it's, it's a lot going on okay there's a, there there is a recalibr a recalibr the planet is recalibrating okay on top of that, there's other things going on. People are waking up. People are coming into alignment. People, are, it's just a lot of overwhelming energy going on. And with you guys being water signs, a lot of you guys are empathic. And your guys, you of more than anybody, are going to feel affected by all of this stuff. Okay, even if you have water somewhere stronger in your chart, you're going to feel the end. Then you're going to feel all this stuff. Okay, open your heart to love. Be open to, okay, well, this is love from spirit world, animals, nature. This is love from, this is love from, I just heard a bird. This is, this is like love from the universe. The love, the universe is going to send you guys signs and symbols and noises and synchronicities that's going to let you know that they're with you. That you are supported, that they are with you, that they love you. This in this time you're gonna feel it, even if you're feeling overwhelmed and just things are not working out, and you're feeling like, oh my God, you know, it, some of you guys are really literally gonna feel like your world is coming to an end, like nothing is working out, everything is just going to ride. That's the complete opposite. If you're going through this and you're on right, you're right on track. Okay. I'm talking about even leaves. Like everything is is, in, is needed to be appreciated and you need to be in a very 
strong energy of gratitude water sign feel like you've been on this journey you guys have been doing so much for so long and it just feels i get it i totally get it y'all you know but of course you have to trust what are these spiritual messages for the water signs that's why they're sending you these messages and these signs and this support because they know this is how you're feeling like this is something that i've been working on for some of you, you know what i'm saying just feeling like just like what is going on like some of you guys are literally calling on spirit, calling on your ancestors, calling on the Lord, whoever you deem is your higher source, you know, just trying to figure out what's really going on and what direction to take and how to go about this because it's just very overwhelming. And I get it. I get it, water signs. You can transmute whatever it is, if it's any type of negative emotion. Some of you guys, like I said, this is what it's supposed to be. You have to go through this. You have to. This is necessary. This is part of the process. It's part of the process. We have inner goddess. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. So this is taking, this is like doing things that are going to feed your soul. Okay? If there are things that you love, whether it's writing poetry, whether it's listening to poetry, whether it's listening to certain um, certain artists um, or certain music or yeah, certain artists, you know, um, I was feeling um, a little out of sorts last week. I've been really feeling this energy deeply, of course, and I started listening to Nina Simone and then I started listening to Bob Marley last week and it just put me in a different space. So I mean, I really, um, I really feel like a lot of you guys need to go deep inside your soul, like really, really deep, and try to. It's like you have to feed your soul. Spirit is always going to be there to support you, but some of you guys really going to have to do the work in feeding yourself because you are water signs, and because you feel things on a deeper, deeper um, wave of energy, you're going to have to feed that, like, like more so than the other elements. Elements. So you make sure you do that, okay? The pro the universe is pouring prosperity down on you, right? But it's about being in alignment to receive this and to being open and seeing the prosperity that's coming. Because a lot of you guys are expecting the prosperity and money. And I'm not saying that money isn't coming to you guys. The money is abundant. It's, it's, it's out here for all of us. But it's about being open to receive whatever they're giving you. Sorceress, stepping into your magic, right? You're a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. Undying love. The love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation. This is appreciating a person for where they're at. Not needing to be in somebody's presence. Not needing to be in a relationship. Not needing to be in even in communication. To appreciate what this, what this, what this connection is. Some of you guys are definitely not. It's like because like feeding that soul like what i was just saying feeding your soul is going to bring out that magical side in a lot of you guys right but you have to be in alignment with that you have to trust you have to trust they want you to really really trust like you know what i'm saying this is not like just saying that this is some real shit like they really want you to trust okay high priestess you have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching so it's like a lot of some of you guys water signs some other other people may look to you for guidance so this is even more reason for you to step into alignment with who you truly are let that prosperity rain down on you let that help some of you guys may uh, either may need to reach out there might be somebody you need to reach out to for some type of assistance or somebody may just surprise you and reach out to you with some type of assistance that's going to help you on this journey. And you can trust this person. For some of you guys, you may intuitively know who, who I'm already talking about. Okay? They may be a, even a surprise visit or a surprise phone call this weekend for some of you guys. Okay? Or the next couple of days. Next few days. 
something. That's not going to be for everybody. Like somebody's going to reach out and they're just going to make you feel better. Like, oh, like when you get off, you everything might not be perfect, like exactly how you want it. But this person is going to help you in some sort of way. Sometimes all people need is a little phone call, a hug, uh, just, you know, something simple, something that's free, you know. Spiritual messages from my Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpios. What are the spiritual messages from my Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpios? There's something else that comes on. I thought it was something else. Okay. Um, are they? We have a few more cards from my Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpios. Spiritual messages from my Water sign. Spiritual message. Thank you. And then we have, again, we have a couple more cards from my water. Ooh, weird, it came out and then it went. Okay, let's see. What are these spiritual messages for my Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio? Messages from my Cancer, Pisces. Thank you. Messages from my Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. I think that might be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. We got the Hermit card at the bottom of the deck. Some of us, some of you guys could be Virgos, have Virgo in your chart. Um, but this is going within. This is doing a lot of soul searching, going within, feeding your soul. That's that same energy, going back to that same energy of feeding your soul, nurturing yourself on a spiritual level. Yeah, you got to take care of yourself in other ways. I mean, that's a given, but I'm just saying, like, there needs to be a, um, a very cognizant, energy of being like being conscious of feeding your spiritual side you want to have to be there water signs okay this is really going to help you on your journey whatever is for you is already for you but you're going to have to this is this is going to this is going to keep everything on it even slow being in that energy okay excuse me Recip reciprocity You also have to be open. Just like you're open to receive, you're, already, you're also going to have to be open to giving, okay? This could be what it's having to do with a Queen of Wands, a Leo, a Leo Aries, or Sag. It needs, some, it needs to be, for some of you guys, needing to be some type of reciprocity with a fire sign. What, it just needs to be some type of... That's going to get that, that type of energy going, okay? This is also you needing to spark that passionate, that, 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 um, some of you guys are so into your emotions that you're not allowing that passion. Like some of you guys are very passionate people, but because you're not feeding your soul, when you do that, when you feed yourself, like, you know what I'm saying? Like listening to certain music, it's also both. Some of you guys need to be very cognizant of what you're listening to at this time. You're going to have to listen to soul churning music. And you know what that is for you because it's different for all of you guys. Okay, let's get some clarifiers. Let's clarify the Six of Pentacles, please. Thank you. Hmm. Coming out of this Five of Swords energy and being open to giving more. Some of you guys may have been giving to a situation, but it wasn't the... I don't want to say it wasn't the right type of giving. But it really... Like, all of this all of this feels like... Because there's not, of, there's not enough of you nourishing yourself on a soul level, water sign. That's what this really feels like. All of this is contingent on you needing to feed your soul... Clarify this Queen of Wands, please. A new beginning with a fire sign. For some of you guys, that's what you're wishing for. Clarify this Five of Cups. Eight of Cups. 
are turning your back on this fire sign so you could have a new beginning in your life or in your love life. Clarify this five of cups. Can I have one more clarifier? Okay. Thank you. Turning your back on old emotions. Moving forward and having some type of healing energy and a family dynamic for some of you guys. Healing through, like once you start nourishing your soul, water signs, you're going to see a shift in your perspective when it comes to a family dynamic. Some of this has to do with a change in residence for some of you guys. Either recently or in the future or presently. Clarify the Six of Wands. What's this victory? Ooh. Stability brings victory. Inner stability. Nourishing yourself. Could be dealing with a Capricorn or a karmic situation. Clarify the Seven of Wands. Clarify the Seven of Wands. Thank you. Working on, uh huh. Yep. Feeding your higher self. Feeding your higher self, you guys. This is all spiritual for you guys. I mean, all my readings are, but I'm just saying this is very, you know, inward stuff. There's a new beginning for some of you guys when it comes to your passion, when it comes to your drive, when it comes to something that you're wanting to create, wanting to build, wanting to manifest. There's a new beginning. There's a new, this is like you guys stepping outside of your fear, stepping outside of that old conditioning grasping working like i don't care you know what it's just me and i got this and i don't have anybody else on the side to brace me spirit got me but i'm saying anybody like in physical form to like I, I it's just me and i got this like that's the type of energy too some of you guys you got to be watching out you know what i'm saying i always show y'all like some it could be a eat person Watching you on some envious jealousy shit. So you guys got to protect yourself. You, some of you guys need to do protect yourself, period. Protect your energy. Do some, um, some clear intentions when it comes to just protecting yourself. Because there are some envious energies out there. I'm going to just tell you. It, it, it might be a few people. It might just be one person. It just depends. These motherfuckers have been popping these M80s for months now, I feel like. And every time they do it, my baby's running here with me. Whoever it is and whatever it is, it seemed like I was telling, what other sign was I telling this to fire? But whatever it is and whoever this is, they ain't nobody there. There's like, the best somebody can do, what they really think they're doing is like sending energy. But they're not going to do anything. They're going to watch from the sidelines. Because look at this. They're not going to, somebody, people are not going to approach like this is not this mother is not gonna approach this because look what this look look what they're capable of. So this person is a weenie for some of you guys. Trust your inner guidance. Some of you may want be going either going to a party, going to some type of gathering, or being invited to something in the near future. Oops. In the near future. It's up to you whether you do this. This could be something with a family dynamic or something like that. It's up to you. There's some type of celebration coming through for somebody. I don't know if somebody getting married or some type of rite of passage. This is also be a spiritual rite of passage for some of you guys. That's why I was saying like it seems like overwhelming, daunting, like this energy that you're in. But this is necessary for you. You have to go through this for a lot of you guys. It's necessary. This feels like a spiritual rite of passage for some. For some of you guys, you may receive a gift of money. A refund or something. Something you're not expecting. And it's going to put you more. It's going to increase your... Oh, for some of you guys, this victory, this spiritual, um, what I just call it? This spiritual rite of passage. Thank you. This spiritual rite of passage is going to, it's like, this is, this is the major blessing. This is what brings you. This is what grounds you. This is what, this is the gift. Like a lot of you, for to come out of that emotional turmoil, emotional 
overwhelming energy for a lot of you guys that you've been in. It's seven of wands. Standing up to your lower self, standing up to your higher, healing that higher, your, your, I'm sorry, healing your lower self, doing that shadow work. Like he, look, he ain't backing down. He got all, he got all his wands. He's holding this one. This motherfucker ain't coming to him. For, so for this, for some, this could be energy. This could be your old self. This could be a, a, in the, this could be a part of your lower self or something like that, or your shadow self. Or this could actually, for some of you guys, this is an actual person. But for some of you, and then you also have this. This old shit, this old conditioning, this old fear. Whatever it is, for whatever, for, it you know, take a high resonance, okay? Okay. messages from my water sign Ooh, okay all righty oh it's a lot whoa 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 it's a lot oh my god wait am i taking all this this is a gang of love i feel like y'all need them but good god almighty okay Keep an open mind. When it comes to new love, if you're manifesting, ooh, excuse me. When if, if if some of you guys are in this energy of manifesting new love, or calling in your soulmate, however, you know, using law of attraction, it's a need for you guys to release all expectations and just flow. Some of you guys, if you are in a connection or whatever, and you're in a relationship for some of you guys, and there's, you know, as far as you know, this is a basically a healthy connection. There's a need for you guys to get some alone time to, you know, for some of you guys, for some single people, this is needing to go within. This is all, like I said, this is a deeply spiritual reading for a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys are putting pressure on yourself when it comes to love. Take it how it resonates. Like some of you guys aren't allowing spirit to work for you. Like you're wanting to do the work when it comes to love. You're wanting to take control. And I mean, that's, I mean, I, I hope that doesn't sound like a contradiction to what I always say, like about you're the conductor, but you also need spirit. Okay. You also need the assistance of the Holy Spirit, of your ancestors, like, you know what I'm saying? Some of you guys are very clearly aware that there is a person who is your true love, or you view this person this way. Some of you guys are enamored, you are infatuated, you are really intrigued by somebody. But for some of you guys, you may feel like there's a block between you and this person. That's not a block. This is just divine timing at play for a lot of you guys in your love life. And there may be some frustration involved in that situation because you're like, when is this going to happen? I keep hearing some of you guys are watching reading where you're hearing that, okay, there's new love coming, blah, blah, blah. When is this coming? It's divine timing. When you hear readings, you guys, by the way, it doesn't mean that it's going to happen as soon as you click off of that reading. This is about energy. I've made a video where I said that sometimes the stuff that you watch in these readings, they don't come to fruition to maybe, I mean, like it was a reading I recorded for my sign, my son sign, back in the end of December, 4 January. And I was watching a video, what was that, May or April? And it was like, coming. Matt, can you want to close this front door? My neighbors, y'all, I got some interesting neighbors. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, 
Whew. Anywho, that was my a lot of you guys um, are focusing more on your children this time, are wanting to establish a deeper connection or deeper relationships with your children for some of you guys. Let's see. Clarify this children's card, please, Divine Holy Spirit. Clarify this children. Ooh. Clarify this children's card. Empress. Oh, the mother of some of you guys' children or something like that. Or the... Clarify. Give me another card for children. Give me another card for the children's card. Give me a card for the children. Give me a card for children. I think that makes some of you guys are just really focusing on your children. Having victory when it comes to your all oh, having victory or wanting victory in a situation with your children or the mother of your children or the, even a the father. Clarify this reconciliation card. Clarify this reconciliation. Clarify this rec reconciliation card. Clarify this reconciliation. Clarify this reconciliation. Thank you. Mm. Six of Cups. Somebody, somebody is wanting a reunion with somebody or that's getting ready to happen for some of you guys. The Justice card. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra. Somebody, this is, what's the card? This is Taurus Libra energy and then we have another card of Libra. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra. Wanting some type of give and take, some type of reciprocity, especially when we see in that Six of Pentacles a little while ago. There could be a reconciliation coming that's going to bring a lot of balance and a lot of justice. Some of you guys are like really hell-bent on this happening, like over-obsessing, overthinking for some of you guys. Playfulness. So it's like some of you guys need to step out of this energy of seriousness and kind of relax and just I, I feel like if you do the work you're going to come out of that serious energy and you know start feeding yourself nourishing your soul that type of energy you're going to come out of that seriousness and be able to like transition to this playful energy and enjoy yourself enjoy the moment enjoy a person but some of you guys that might be what the, that the perceived block is not being able to like enjoy. I'm about to close this up because I don't know if y'all can hear that shit as loud as hell. All right. Allow your useful spirit of fun to shine. Exactly. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Exactly. That ties into this playfulness card. A lot of you guys, because you have been through so much, you've experienced so much when it comes to love, you're in this very serious energy right now. And they're saying, lighten the fuck up, water signs. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy these present moments because you'll never get them back. Have fun. Have a drink for some of you guys. Have a smoke for some of y'all. Like, just come out of that, that, that dry energy because you may feel like damn i'm so bored well do something to liven yourself up do something to have fun call somebody well i don't want to say call nobody else because y'all might end up calling the wrong motherfucker so i ain't gonna say that <laughs> but just have watch something funny like have a drink smoke have a smoke and then like you know what watch something funny or something i'm not saying chug a lug a whole fifth down a whole bottle of wine down smoke a little bit of it. If that's, that's your thing. If you like that kind of thing, I'm just saying. And the last card is your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment with the engagement card. So trust me that all of this that's going on, this is happening for, this is, this is, this is putting you on the right track. When it comes to your love life, if you're not trusting, there's a need for you to trust. Going back to that previous energy from that previous spread. I'm just saying. All right, water signs, that is the end of your message. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. I love you guys. Take care, lighten up, nourish your soul. Peace, take care.